Your Minnesota Fine Vikings have the best uh, wide receiver in the National Football League in Justin Frickin' Jefferson. And even though the Vikings moved on this offseason from the immortal uh, Adam Jerome Ezekiel Thielen, you do have K.J. Osborne looking to step up as a wide receiver too, as well as first-round pick Jordan Addison uh, is going to add some spiciness uh, to the soup and the stew. Uh, baby, you got stew going uh, in this wide receiver room in 2023. Uh, but... Uh, over at Pro Football Focus, our guy Trevor Sikama uh, did up a ranking of NFL receiving core rankings. Uh, Cincinnati Bengals take the top spot for the second year in a row. So blah, 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 blah. Now, this is strictly wide receivers. So you're not even counting TJ Hawkinson, not even factoring in tight ends, etc. Fully understand it. Now, it should be receiving weapon rankings, but... I digress there. And the Vikings ended up clocking at number seven behind the Bengals, Eagles, Dolphins, Niners. Uh, and again, is Debo really a receiver or, or is he more of a running back? Who knows? Uh, also, the Seahawks and the Cowboys as well. Uh, this is what Trevor wrote about the Vikings at seven. Thank Justin Jefferson for uh, the Vikings ranking in the top 10. Outside of Jefferson, Minnesota has T.J. Hawkinson at tight end. So mentions the, the tight end, which is going to be a major uh, factor in the receiving uh, core this year. But eh, just because he puts his hand in the dirt, man. Whatever. Uh, a viable option for them. But then K.J. Osborne, Jalen Rager, and rookie Jordan Addison. He, he put Jordan Addison behind Jalen Rager and Jalen Naylor. Just funny. Still, Jefferson carries due uh, to his three straight elite receiving grades. Uh, his 92.5 receiving grade o- over all three campaigns ranks third to only Devontae Adams and Cooper Cup. Uh, and then go th- goes through Jefferson's PFF ranks over the uh, last couple of years. Uh, and then l- looking at the rankings. So uh, here's the rankings here. And then we did the top three receivers of each team. So Bengals, I understand it. Uh, Jamar Chase, T. Higgins is underrated. Tyler Boyd uh, is fantastic from the slot, the pride of Pitt. The Eagles with A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, as well as Quez Watkins, sure. Uh, again, the Dolphins, a little bit more of a twosome with Tyree Kill, Jalen Waddle, and then Cedric Wilson coming over from the Cowboys. Niners, I, I don't get the Niners rankings here. Where you got Debo, yes. Ayak, sure. Jawan Jennings, but how, how does all three of those add up to more than Justin Jefferson? Don't get it. And then you got DK Lockett and JSN. I think that's going to be uh, a phenomenal trio uh, moving forward. Cowboys. I'm not I'm not buying the Cowboys. Where CD is a stud, yes. Brandon Cooks has been traded 17 different times for reasons. Gallup is still, yes, a year removed from that ACL, but I, I'm really not buying into him. And how, how does that equal more than Justin Jefferson? I don't get it. Jefferson... Uh, propping up the Vikings at, at seven. You know, KJ, uh, yes, there's a lot of question marks, but he was a phenomenal wide receiver three last year. And I, I don't think that the drop off, or I don't think there is a drop off moving in from Thielen, who was certainly aging out last year, uh, to KJ and Jordan Addison, the rookie wide receiver this year, where I, I do think that Addison is in the best spot of all the receivers, including Jackson Smith and Jigba with the Seahawks, in terms of being able to produce right away. I actually really like him in fantasy, both this year as well as in dynasty. They got the Raiders. Uh, the Raiders are sort of like the, the Vikings were there propped up by one uh, stud receiver, Devontae. Jacoby Myers, yes, he got paid decent in free agency, but yeah. And then Hunter Renfro, they've been trying to trade for the last two years. Uh, the Bills, and I mean, uh, the Bills to a degree are like the Vikings and the Raiders in the spot. So you have one receiver, Stephon Diggs, who, yes, I still think he's a top five receiver, uh, is propping up the rest of the room. Gabe Davis did not catch it, and they should have reviewed it, but mm. And then Trenton Sherfield, sure. Okay, Uh, but also they should factor in Dalton Kincaid, who's going to be more of a wide receiver in this offense. Again, you're not factoring in the uh, the tight ends. Uh, I think that's a little bit of an issue. So you you could put in, uh, oh, you got Irv with the Bengals. Yeah, or or you got Goddard with the Eagles, uh, or you have Kittle with the Niners, uh, et cetera. So, I mean, that should be a factor here, but again, I digress. And then 10, the Bucs. The Bucs should be a lot higher. So you got Evans and Godwin. Again, Evans may be one of the more underrated receivers in the game. I think that he will be a Hall of Famer. And then your wide receiver three is Russell Gage. I don't know. I don't know, man. So uh, these are the PFF rankings by Trevor Sykema. And then this is how we would rank him. So Bengals, respect with Chase, Higgins, and Boyd. Uh, Seahawks, respect with Metcalf, Lockett, and JSN. The Dolphins, I, I... I respect the duos of Tyreek Waddle and Brown and Devontae Smith. And 
Yes, I want to go full homer here, and I do believe that KJ could step up as a complimentary wide receiver too. I, I do think that Addison could be that dude as well. So I think that if you did this ranking at the end of the season, I think the Vikings might end up one or two somewhere in there. But as of right now, again, we'll, t- we'll take our homer cap off uh, and we'll put the Vikings at five. Uh, the Bucks again, with Evans and Godwin, that's pretty damn good. Uh, seven Cowboys CD. Yeah, I, I it sort of threw Cooks under the bus, but he is solid and also have a lot of respect for CD Lamb. Uh, Diggs really raising up the Bills in this spot. Devonta Adams can still do the thing, and the Niners. I mean, if, if I was given a choice instead of reordering how PFF had them, I may just drop the Niners out, out of there because even though yes, I, I do respect Debo, I can make a couple of plays too. I just don't see it over some other teams' receiver rooms. I I, I don't get it, man. But uh, anyways, J- Justin Jefferson, take this as disrespect. Pay Jefferson and have them have him look at this list. Have KJ have uh, have uh, Addison look at this list. And be like, oh, we're seven. Hmm, we're seven, huh? I think the Vikings are going to rise up this list very quickly this year. But your thoughts are thoughts. Pro Football Focus ranks the Vikings as the seventh best wide receiver room in the NFL. Cap, major cap. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most support the work. Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.